Morning, everyone. My name is HJ, and I'm the founder and CEO of Talking Points. And at Talking Points, we're solving for one of the biggest yet overlooked opportunities in education, parents. We help parents and teachers work together through accessible technology. 2x, academic research says that the strength of parent-teacher partnership predicts the student's success twice as much as how rich the family is. A parent is a child's first teacher and children spend 70% of their time outside school. So a strong partnership means that we can double their learning time. When I was eight, my family moved from Korea to the UK. I didn't speak a word of English, but my mom spoke to my teachers every single day in broken English on how she could help me at home. But if you're a parent working double, triple shifts, you don't speak English, you're new to the country, and you don't have an education, where would you even start? And same with the teachers, how do you start that relationship? So for the 40 million underserved children in the US and another 150 million across the world, unfortunately, this is the case. And Talking Points is changing that. We're building a multilingual intelligent messaging application that provides personalized coaching to parents and teachers and two-way translation to make sure language barriers don't get in the way. So, and we use AI and data science to do this. So let's take Maria, for example. Her parents emigrated from Mexico when she was two. Maria's mom is so busy working double shifts that she's never been to Maria's school. But just using a mobile phone that everyone has, she's able to communicate with Ms. Maria's teacher, Ms. Andrea, in her own language using our two-way real-time translation, which is AI and human volunteer powered. Ms. Andrea, Maria's teacher, and Maria's mom is also receiving personalized coaching and guidance through Talking Points on a web and mobile application around how they could help Maria at home. So for example, Maria's mom gets tips on how she could help Maria with fifth grade math homework. We're able to do this using predictive algorithms, data science, and AI building on a data set of five million and growing conversations. And we make sure that the multilingual translation gets rid of the language barriers. And our growing data set will continuously improve our personalization, translation, to make sure that, that our tips are timely, relevant, and impactful. And independent research shows that there's actually already student performance gains. Since through launching three years ago, we've reached to impact 250,000 families, educators, and children across North America, growing just through word of mouth across educators. And our 2020 goal is to impact 3 million educators, families, and school communities. And with MIT Solve's incredible network, talent, and access, we think we can get there faster and further to make sure that our AI engine expands to help us go global so we can support every single student, whether you're a Syrian refugee in a Jordanian camp or a student here in Harlem. Thank you very much. It's on. Okay. How do you train teachers to use this system? Yeah, two models. So one model is a district and school partnership model where we do one-on-one -on -one, um, train the trainer model. And then once they're on the product, which is incredibly get easy to get started, all the training is on the platform. So it, it's in their own time, online, and in their workflow, which makes it really easy um, to get started and also learn on the way as well. Hi, so um, question, uh, in terms of your going global strategy and some of the challenges related to natural language processing, um, what uh, languages are you focusing on now and what is your strategy to go global? Yeah, um, right now we have 25 languages, but the languages that we focus on are Spanish, Chi the ch traditional Mandarin, Mandarin and Cantonese, Vietnamese, Cambodian, and Arabic. 
Now, our strategy is global. We need to do that through partnerships. So in the US and Canada, we've grown word of mouth, but we believe that institutional partnerships, either that being with education ministries or school systems or agencies, so UN agencies, that would be a strategy to go global. We've already had a lot of interest coming from internationally. We just haven't had the capacity or the bandwidth to really manage that expansion. Yeah. Uh, so this looks like a chance for parents to harass teachers a lot. And uh, yet you say that the teachers really like this. So what is it about this that the teachers like? It's, um, it's our focus on the underserved communities. So if anything, teachers are dying to hear from these parents. So if, if, you know, I think everyone in the room are college educated, we have office jobs, you check emails, these parents just don't ever talk to the teachers or go to the school. So if there is a scenario where the parents are harassing, that is like the dream scenario for these teachers. <laughs> Hi, um, have you implemented in any low literate or neo-literate, non-literate speaking environments where parents don't really, can't read? Thank you for asking that. So it's one of our biggest feature requests right now. Not yet, but it's on our product roadmap. The voice to text, text to voice, um, making sure that the text messages are actually in English alphabet, even though the language might be something different. So those are the things that we're thinking about. Right now, we haven't yet. 